So I'm not necessarily expecting a lot. I just want to see if we have a baseline that down there, there they are. We can get a little growth. We have exactly 1.0, which is not growth phase yet, but this early breeding will hopefully start to push her along the right way. Hey guys, so we're we've been working on some new content, um, getting some a new video out, and this week um, we're just trying to figure out exactly what we're going to do next. Um, we have a really cool plan for a video on May 4th, and just a little bit of a preview. Um, May the 4th be with you, so we're going to have a little bit of fun with that and do the Star Wars theme. Chase is a giant Star Wars fan. We're going to... Um, I guess cool ideas for that. But in the meantime, we're kind of bringing along just a little bit of what's happening this week, kind of a standard week. We have some clutches being laid. We'll do some videos on that, um, some exciting stuff. Um, also, we're doing ultrasounding this week. We're getting in some rep chip. Um, so let's see some of that stuff and uh, just take it piece by piece. All right guys, so we're really excited. We have the clutch to set up today. Um, we're kind of bringing you on to some of the normal things we do every week and we're getting a clutch um, a couple days a week now at least. So we are checking out this clutch. This is a leopard spot nose het clown. Um, so it's a Batman maker and it's bred to a new gene clown, something that I've not shown the world yet, but we're real excited about it. Real excited to see what the, uh, say new gene, it's an existing gene, but something that nobody's really seen. It's really cool. So. Hoping to see a Batman version of that. Let's see how this girl did for us. She's beautiful. Let me take a picture of her. All right. So, pulling her off her eggs. So it looks like we have five good eggs and two slugs, which is unfortunate, but part comes with the territory. So we're doing some ultrasounding and super excited about what we're seeing. Just incredible, incredible results. And a little bit of an earlier season last year. Last year was super late, you know, towards the end of the year. Um, and this year we're seeing the very same girls who we have a really strict schedule on. They're actually going up to a month earlier, which is surprising and exciting. And we're gonna ultrasound a couple girls on camera and then we'll just set up the tripod and we'll go down the row and see all the cool stuff. I'll give a thumbs up every time we, uh, have an awesome, uh, awesome pairing that we're expecting a clutch from. It's a lavender spider, but we know this girl is basically going. Just wanted to see how close to going she is. Ovulation, basically. Is you running? Oh yeah. Can you give us a thumbs up? <laughs> <laughs> so when we get the uh, girls that are going, we put a little piece of purple tape on there, and that'll help us track the post-ovulation shed. When they do that next shed after they have tape on it, We'll write the lay date on the piece of tape, which is 30 days from the post-ovulation shed. So it makes it real simple. Whenever I'm sure a girl's going, <laughs> so we'll make it real simple. Whenever I'm sure a girl's going, we we'll put the tape on there. Next time Chase sees a shed while he's cleaning, he'll write 30 days from the date, and then we'll just start watching for those eggs. So nice and easy. And this girl is going. It's a lavender spider to a leopard blackhead lavender. So this will be really interesting to see the combination of leopard plus the blackhead and the spider and a lavender. Will be really cool to see. All right. These we have, these are actually locked up for the last three days. This pair is the only one he won't give up. So um, really really cool, interesting male, new project male to a clown female. Uh, but we'll try to ultrasound her even though they're locked up, just because. I want to see what's going on. All right. So we'll just do it right there. 
She's a little early for her to show me much in the way of follicles, so I'm not necessarily expecting a lot. I just want to see if we have a baseline. If she had follicles of, say, 0.5 or 1.0, then I can write that down. There, there they are. You can get a little growth. We have exactly 1.0, which is not growth phase yet, but this early breeding will hopefully start to push her along the right way so that she does go into growth phase. So if everything's good, by the next time we do this in one month, we expect it to be one and a quarter to 1.75 centimeters. That'll be the expected growth rate if everything's on track. Okay. This girl, we see her automatically. She's laying off the heat. The heat's here and back. So she's laying off the heat. They don't normally necessarily come all the way to the front and sometimes they'll wrap the water bowl, but more generally speaking, just seeing them shift forward off the heat of the tub is all we're looking for as far as cold seeking. And cold seeking is a sign that they're in the follicular development stage, which is anything from say one and a quarter centimeters all the way up to 4.0 basically, which is ovulation. So this girl is one of my most consistent clowns, a nice huge blade clown. 2005 so she's 13 years old now and she is extremely consistent you see what we have here uh, if you look on the edge of the we can really see them on the screen here but these are basically one and a half approximately horizontally one and a quarter to one and a half so she's an early growth phase exactly where we expect her to be this time of year Next one is an absolutely gorgeous red stripe girl. Now this is a very, very extreme example. This is the kind of example that I wish every one of mine were like this. She's just absolutely amazing. Some of the red stripe stuff has like a, um, a granite type gene attached to it. And this is definitely one of those with an amazing stripe, even though it's just a single gene and not a super. All right, and I don't expect anything on her. She went past the stage where she typically typically would show me good follicles and she didn't have any last time, and this time's the same thing. So she's basically taking the year off, um, and we're just gonna let her do that. There they are right there, tiny, 0.5. There's a couple bigger ones, maybe up to 1.0, but if she was on track where she should be, they should be 2.0, 2.5s, 3.0s, and uh, she's way, way behind schedule. So that's a next year, wait till next year type type situation on her. Alright. Beautiful. This is a pastel leopard double head clown pied. And she is actually coming in real close to ovulation right now. You can see she's already got a big swell going on. Look at this. I call it like a half moon. I don't know what it's actually. <laughs> it's a pre-ovulation swell. She's not actually quite gotten there, but real close. And she was bred to a pastel clown pied. So we're hoping for a killer leopard clown pied from this pairing. It'll be a long shot, even with the clown pied. As the boy, we're still talking about a long shot, which is fantastic, extra fun. <laughs>